This is part three in my series on Chisirira National Park. Things to see and do while you're in the park. And if you watch it all the way to the end, you will see my special bonus top tip. As you come up the main road into Chisirira, about 1.8 kilometers before you get to the camp, to the main uh, offices or the turn off to the main offices, you'll see this sign on your right. It says Kariba View 4.5 kilometers and then Makula Ridge Road strictly four wheel drive. If you look down the right, it's a very unprepossessing looking track, clearly intended for a four wheel drive only. This is the first of our list of things to do in Chisarera. We're going to go down this road. It's about a 30 kilometer round trip loop that should take us back to this point. And uh, you guys are coming along for the ride. Let's go. So here we are. This is the Kariba view right on top. We just climbed 200 meters. In fact, although the sign said 4.5 kilometers, we only went 3.1 kilometers before very clearly the track veered to the right and came up to a dead end to this viewpoint. Magnificent, magnificent view. In the distance, you can see what I'm guessing is Binga, the town of Binga, and, uh, and Lake Kariba, and beyond those, the hills of Zambia. Evidently, this was once a campsite. There is still a fireplace here. I'm sure if you wanted to and you asked the parks authorities if you could come and camp here, they'd probably let you. It is a beautiful spot. There's nothing else here. There's uh, no water, no toilets, no ablutions, no nothing. Just the fireplace, but it's a very, very beautiful spot and well worthwhile for the magnificent views of, over Lake Kariba. Yeah, so here we are driving along the top now. We're about 5Ks from the turn off past the Kriba viewpoint and we're just cruising here along the ridge with a very dramatic drop off on the one side of us. We're starting to see on the other side the opening up of Chisarira Park and it's a very special location. You feel like nobody's been here for months but us. Chisarira is always full of surprises. We were bumbling along, there was nothing around, just a piece of woodland. We looked out of the window and suddenly we saw this below us. This is the Kasanzi River Gorge and it's very sharp and dramatic. We carried on about 15 kilometers along the ridgeline in a westerly direction coming uh, on this big loop. Um, we in and out right just below the ridge line. We could often see big long views towards Lake Kariba. Then we turned south a couple of k's ago and now we're about 17, 18 k's from the starting point and then we looked down and then we saw this. Now we're going to head away from the Kasanzi River for a little bit and then back and we're going to cross over it. Okay, this is the Kasanzi River and this is where we got across. Not much sign of a road or a bridge here. Hard to believe that just around the corner of this road, this river breaks into that incredible gorge that we just saw. Here it looks quiet and flat and calm. Not so easy to get across though, so I think I might be about to provide you with some excellent entertainment. Jeez, uh, sorry guys, I didn't make that quite as exciting as I could have done. Uh, anyway, we made it. Trust the old 1991 Land Cruiser. Okay, so after 27 kilometers on this loop from the starting point, we have come to our first junction. We are on the Manzituba Flay, and if we turn left, we'll head back towards the headquarters. And if we carry straight on, we're gonna go to the platform. I'm going to go straight on, so I'm going to estimate that from here back to the HQ would be about 10 k's. So that loop which I said I thought I estimated was going to be 30 k's would be more like 40 k's. Very worthwhile, the last stretch has been beautiful open uh, flay, uh, a lot of mixture between Mapani and uh, Brachystigia bohemi, the Prince of Wales feathers. Uh, we've seen quite a bit of game, a lot of impala, we've seen hartebeest, we've seen warthog um, and lots more signs of other wildlife and many 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 really um, stunning termite mounds uh, in this area with lots of bird life. Number two on the list of must do things in Chisarira is to come and park off at the Mucheni picnic site. Especially if you're unlucky and you don't have one of the campsites on Mucheni looking over the gorge, this is the spot to come and get this incredible view. 
you've got the Macheni River down at the bottom, deep, deep, steep gorge, and then the view looks out right towards Lake Kriber and Zambia goes on forever. If you're lucky in the evenings here, you get the Taita Falcons displaying, and that is something else to see. These guys go up, fly high up, pull their wings in and then dive bomb down and then come back up. Really, really, really special and very, very, very unique to this area. So number two, Chisarira things to do, Mucheni picnic site. Number three on your list of things to do in Chisarira would be to come to what they euphemistically call the platform. There once was a game viewing platform here. There's nothing now other than a little picnic table and a bench. But it is absolutely the best place in Chisarira to see wildlife. We're sitting here just up overlooking this beautiful flay. This is the upper reaches of the Mucheni River, which goes and winds through the hills and then comes out in the gorge by the Mucheni campsites. Uh, you don't see a lot in Chisarira, to be honest. Chisarira is not really about wildlife. It's much more about views, scenery, and of course the isolation because it's very remote and very wild. But if you do want to come and see wildlife, I advise you to come to this place, bring your binoculars, bring a book, take time. And if it's evening time, like it is for me, make sure you come with an ice cold beer. When it comes to views in Chisarira, it's really quick and easy to run out of superlatives. Each one seems to get better than the last. But the king of all the views is from this point, Spider Point. You go down the Kiswisi Loop, you head north, and you come up on the eastern side of the Mucheni Gorge, directly opposite the Mucheni View and the Mucheni Gorge campsites. And the view here is just breathtaking. You're looking over at the campsite in the foreground, you've got the gorge right below you. If you look to the north, you can see that same view ran right down to Lake Kariba. And then when you turn behind you and you look to the south, you've got miles and miles and miles of Chisarira National Park just going on into the very distance. The view here is incredible and I would say if you're coming to Chisarira, thing number four to do in Chisarira as an absolute must do is make your way up to Spider Point. In the extraordinarily unlikely event that you've spent several days in Chisarira, you've done everything that I've advised you to do and you still feel the need to do something else, I'm going to give you guys a top bonus tip. Head yourselves out to the east of the Macheni Gorge, round the gorge and up the other side, past the amazing spider point and find the 4x4 track that goes east from the Macheni all along the ridge. It's you go most of the time just below the ridge. Occasionally you get a view over looking towards Lake Kariba and the Matusadona Mountains. And then at the end, you come along a narrow knife edge and then the knife edge comes to a point. When you get out of your car and walk a few meters and look down, this is what you see. This is the Lucy Lukulu River. Then the gorge, the, the river flows out from the Chisarira Park through this spectacular gorge and out into the communal lands and eventually into the lake. The view here is second to none and you will not meet another person here. You can actually stand in this place and think to yourself, you, you're very confident that no one has seen this view for months and months, if not years. It is well worth the effort. It is a 4x4 only track. Do make sure if you travel it, you go in convoy, two vehicles. If, if you're alone and you break down here, you're going to be in deep trouble because no one's ever going to find you. So best to be safe two vehicles, ideally in the dry season, the track, there is a vehicle track, it's a legitimate road in the park, but it's very, very, very little use, so you will need to find your way. But if you do, and you get to the end of the ridge, and you look out over this view, I promise you, it will all have been worthwhile. You can pat yourself on the back and open one of those nice cold beers.